Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, folks, the tiny Caribbean island of Barbuda has been destroyed, wiped off the face of the map. 90% of the buildings completely ruined, just destroyed as Hurricane Irma, this category five monster of an earth of a hurricane, just bullseye hit the little island of Barbuda. Now it's completely devastated this tiny island, this powerful Atlantic Ocean storm. Uh, around 90%, like I said, of the nation's structures and vehicles have been completely destroyed. Um, at least uh, three people killed on that island, according to Barbuda's Prime Minister Gaston Brown. Irma passed over Barbuda uh, yesterday, and as when it hit, it was doing 185 miles per hour winds. It was a Category 5, full force, okay? The storm has left a trail of destruction across the entire Eastern Caribbean islands, leaving at least eight people dead and 23 injured, and the storm is raging on. Barbuda's literally nothing but rubble. The entire housing stock was damaged. It is just a total devastation of this little island. Uh, according to Governor Brown, he said the island was barely habitable. And the damage caused by this 185 mile an hour winds are unprecedented. Now, 60% of Barbuda's 1,600 residents have been left homeless. Okay. And two, a two-year-old child was killed as a family tried to escape a damaged home during the storm. Barbuda is situated between the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, forms part of the uh, state of Antigua and Barbuda, okay? So Governor Brown said that Antigua, the largest of the two islands, has been spared the worst of Hurricane Irma, but many private homes have been destroyed by the storm there as well. Another hurricane, Jose, is formed in the Atlantic and it's spreading fears it could head toward the Caribbean islands that have already been ravaged by Hurricane Irma. And the U.S. National Hurricane Center has said there is no immediate threat from Hurricane Jose, which is a Category 1, which is currently far east of Irma, but meteorologists have warned that the storm's path could change. Hurricane Jose is currently a Category 1 with winds of 75 miles an hour. And Governor Brown said that his government is considering moving the entire population of Barbuda to Antigua, okay, uh, if it looks like Hurricane Jose heads in their direction. Now, Hurricane Irma has caused widespread damage across many Caribbean islands, and local officials warn the French part of the island of St. Martin has been 95% destroyed. Now, we know President Donald Trump owns a mansion on St. Martin, and we haven't heard yet if that, uh, if his uh, home had been destroyed or damaged yet. We haven't found that out. A state of emergency, though, has been declared for the state of Florida. Also, the U.S. Virgin Islands are in a state of emergency. So is Puerto Rico, where huge areas have been left without power. And the mayor of Florida's Miami-Dade and Broward counties has issued mandatory evacuation orders starting this morning. There are concerns that 80,000 residents of the southern Florida Keys, uh, a tourist hotspot, is laying right in the hurricane's direct path. And Florida Governor Rick Scott strongly is urging people to evacuate and asking that they do so and telling local officials to heavily encourage it, okay? So Hurricane Irma's on its way to Florida. Now, there is some reports, some meteorologists, and there is some computer models that are saying that at, when Hurricane Irma gets right to the tip, close to Florida, it's gonna make a turn, okay? It's gonna make a turn. The question is, there's about a 25 mile window 
If Irma turns sooner, it could miss the Florida coast and head up toward the Carolinas. If it waits and then makes the turn, it will go right into Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and just ride the coast of Florida. If it waits longer and then makes the turn, it will literally go up the west side of the state of Florida. And so we just don't know. I mean, and and there's no way to know. And you're talking millions of people, billions of, of dollars worth of property hanging in the balance. But one thing's for sure, Florida Keys. I mean, you guys have got to understand Get out of the Florida Keys, okay? And now there's there's shortages of water. There's shortages of gasoline. There's all kinds of things happening right now. So we'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. What?